we well, are almost in the area, but as has happened now three days in a row, these elephants have sidetracked me. What is amazing about this particular elephant is that it's blazing hot outside. Now, elephants have a very thick skin over their forehead, across their back, and on their rump, on the back of their legs. It can be up to 15 centimeters thick, which is, on an adult, if you hold up your hands, just the skin, that's not the subcutaceous fat layers or anything like that, just the skin is fingers deep, basically, on an adult. So as long as your fingers are, that's how thick the skin is. That is an unbelievable amount of skin. But what it does do is it protects the elephant to a degree from the hot sun. An elephant's skin on the surface can reach 50 degrees centigrade. Can you believe it? It's enough to cook an egg on. Now, Linda, you say, what a big elephant. Is it, it's a fairly big elephant. It's not the biggest elephant I've ever seen. But male elephant in the Mara tend to be quite small. And I, I, I haven't quite decided why yet. I, th I think it's as a result of years of hunting pressure. You do get large tusked elephant here, but you don't get large bodied elephant. And I don't know why yet. Elephant, given the choice, will eat grass and not have a diet of too many sticks. But... And here the grass grows pretty much year round and I just, I do not understand why there's such small bodied elephant around. It just doesn't make any sense. But nevertheless they are here. This is a male elephant and not a female elephant. And I suppose, Senac, you wanted to know what age they get that hump on their back. Um, I don't think I've ever been asked that question before Senac, and that is in a lot of game drives that I've done. Um, so that hump basically is their shoulder blade and it sticks out because their neck is hanging down to support their head which is in the grass busy feeding giving the elephant purchase to uh, you know without too much effort pull the grass out like it is so in a nutshell even baby elephant will have that hump but the question i suppose is why don't you see it in baby elephant um I think it's because baby elephants don't hang their heads down as much as what adult elephants do. Let's see if we can prove that throughout the course of the afternoon. I'm going to be looking for some other baby elephants and see whether or not that hump on their legs is, is, is uh, evident or not. And then we see if we can answer that question for you, Senak. Now from this vantage point and looking back over the Ululolo escarpment, we can see the buildup of some large clouds, which is fairly typical here after a hot day. Just have a look at that giant cumulus cloud. Now it'll become a cumulus nimbus cloud as soon as we can see evidence of rain coming out the bottom. For now it's just a cumulus cloud. And that is from convection, meaning it's moisture rich air. It has probably got its moisture from Lake Victoria, which lies at the base of those clouds. And because it's been such a hot day, as the air is rising, this moisture starts to condense at dew point temperature and will continue to condense until that temperature changes. And there we're seeing these clouds topping out. We're at 2,000 or just under 2,000 feet above sea level here. And those clouds will go up to 18,000 feet above sea level. Excuse me, it could go up to 80,000 feet above sea level. Isn't that just amazing? So we've got some giraffe with these elephants as well. Quite nice to see in actual fact, their heads in the bushes. These are the Maasai giraffe. Not the same as the common giraffe that you'd see down at Juma. These ones are slightly smaller and that is a beautiful picture of a Maasai giraffe with their irregular shaped brown marks and their much whiter faces. In the background there you've got some zebra and there's an elephant. Just layers upon layers of animals here today. Now, M. Ruth, do you want to know if I've seen a leopard yet in the morrow? I have not, to be honest with you. I've heard one calling once and I've seen Scott's video of one. And the other day, Vincent on Friday showed one, he had one. I have not seen a leopard yet, Ruth. I actually thought I was going to see one this morning. I was quite excited about it. There were some monkeys that were, um, were calling. Um, 
and we went to go and have a look, but we couldn't see anything. They were calling it something on the other side of the river, of the Mara River. So it's coming. I'll see a leopard here eventually. That's the nice thing about being and living in an area like this, is that all things in time. All right, we're going to go forward a little bit. Let's see if we can get closer to this Ellie, at least see a baby elephant, so that Shinak and I can have a closure to the conversation we've had about elephants' shoulder blades, which I think is fascinating. So why don't I look for a baby elephant so long? And um, rather than you bouncing and jostling through this uneven ground with me, we'll send you over to Taylor.